the key part of the word history, story. This is a story about a shipwreck and about ghosts. And it's unusual to find the two in the same place. In 1853, the packet was a vessel that sailed every few days from the dock down here on Pondell Street to the Caribou area in Nova Scotia, carrying the mail and passengers. October the 7th of that year was a windy day and the captain decided to wait until noon before he started out. They were in a, a, a vessel called the Fairy Queen. Sounds like a luxury craft, but she was a washed out old tub and the steering rope constantly broke. And about a mile from the coast in Nova Scotia, it broke again. Now that wasn't unusual. They had spliced it many times, but when they went to splice the rope one more time, it was too short. So they went down to find another rope to fix the steering rope. The crew in the boiler room wondered what was going on on deck, why the vessel had lost way. They wandered up on deck. The fires went down in the boiler and went out. So the steering rope was fixed, but now the vessel had no power, and that would have been okay. Except that the Fairy Queen leaked like a sieve, and the pumps had to run all the time. And the pumps were run from the steam engine in the boiler room, and the engines had gone out, so the pumps couldn't run, and the Fairy Queen started to fill with water. The weather turned bad, and a storm came up as darkness fell and gradually the Fairy Queen began to sink. And that might not have been a problem when they decided to abandon ship, except that the crew abandoned ship and left the cabin boy and the passengers on board. Seven of the passengers were killed, five survived, and it turned into a scandal and it was investigated, but it was a political scandal, and in the way of that kind of scandal, the investigation really didn't yield results or blame. And it passed into history, except that something else happened on that day. On the morning the Fairy Queen was meant to sail, two members of the congregation of the Kirk here, St. James, not this building, but the old Kirk, heard a bell ringing. It sounded like a ship's bell, but the bell was emanating from the kirk. So they thought some kids had gotten into the church and they went to the church to rouse them out. But the church was locked and the sexton had to get his keys. When they came back to the church, what they saw were three women entering the church and a fourth woman up in the bell tower. Well, they thought they had them trapped. They went inside the church, they climbed up into the bell tower, and there was nobody there. That night, four members of the congregation of the Kirk were drowned in the loss of the Fairy Queen. Now this story, which was written down by 1900 and told over and over again, has become regarded, it's always been regarded as a forerunner. The bell that was ringing, the figures that were seen entering in the church were a forerunner to foretell the death of four members of the Kirk later that day in the sinking of the Fairy Queen. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed our video, more are on the way, so subscribe. And if you have questions or ideas for other videos, let us know in the comments and maybe we'll do one of your ideas.